Hey friends, today I have for you a very short video. I'm going to be making some shrimp and tuna salad. So I'm using some orzo for the uh, pasta. Here are about seven shrimp that are thawing. Um, I have a can of skipjack tuna. And I've never had skipjack tuna before. I have had the, uh, the albacore tuna. Um, it says it's sustainably caught and it is packed in water. So that'll be interesting. I wish I had peas and green peppers, but I don't. So I'm going to be adding a little bit of uh, capers and some celery, green onion, and mayonnaise, and I might put in a little pinch of dill too. So okay, I will show you what it looks like, okay? Wow, well that's disappointing. Look at that, that looks just like any other ordinary uh, tuna fish that I've ever bought and and don't care for very much. It's all little tiny shreds. So I'm not gonna put that in my shrimp salad. It's, uh, shrimp is too expensive to combine with this. So I opened up a can of the albacore tuna that I always get, let me turn it around, that I always get at Aldi. It is delicious and look at the, the light, nice light color on it and the big chunks. Um, I'll just take this and mix it with a little mayonnaise and save it for just plain sandwiches, but this is what's going to go into the salad. I just finished cooking the pasta and here are the shrimp and I'm going to put some Old Bay into the water and then simmer them off. Okay, I'm going to start assembling the salad. There's mayonnaise down there. I'm going to add a little bit of green onion and some celery. I like using the tops too, the leafy little greens. And I'm going to put in about a quarter teaspoon of dried dill. Hold on a second, I need to get something out of the refrigerator. Okay, I forgot to bring out the, uh, the capers. So, let's see, I put a very generous half teaspoon in there. And now I'm just going to stir it around. I might need to get or might need to uh, get a little bit more mayonnaise. Yeah, I think I do. So a little bit more mayonnaise. Stir that around and I'm going to put in a grind of black pepper. The next thing I think will be the tuna. And this is, as I said earlier, this is the Aldi albacore and it is really, really nice. Big chunks. Look at that. I mean, you actually have to break it apart. Okay, let me stir this up and I will bring you back, okay? the orzo. Just gonna stir this up. I did add a little bit more mayo too. Okay. And then the next thing I'm adding is the shrimp. I simmered them in some water and old bay. All right now you're going to say oh she left the tails on and I did because I like the looks of it. And I'm going to taste for seasoning and then I will transfer it into another bowl and chill it until dinner time. Okay guys, here it is, tuna and shrimp salad and it's ready to go into the refrigerator and chill a little bit. And I will probably serve it with this beautiful tomato later on. So, alright guys, thanks so much for stopping by and I will see you later. All right, let's get, uh, let's not use this clip. 